Welcome. Uh, this week uh, I'll, I'll try to answer some questions about how to draw some stuff, especially the face and the head and the views. Uh, I'll start with um, down, f from down and from up. Uh, well, you'll see. And I will have uh, Malice Max here with me. Uh, this is my son. What? And uh, yeah, you didn't know that? Well, so lots of surprises today. Uh, so we'll do this together today. I, I hope you'll enjoy it. So this is Dave. He will demonstrate what we are going to do today. You should imagine the face as a cylinder. And this is how the face usually looks from the front. And if you imagine him from up, then it looked like this. And from under, under the chin, it should look like this. So this is a good preference to go after. Thank you, Dave, for your demonstration. So I tried to demonstrate in an easy way how I imagine it and usually think about it when I'm creating a face. I never make the cylinder, but now I will make a clear cylinder. It's like a can. I never used this, but I know that this is a good way to start if you want to create the face. Now I'm making it from above, like you saw Dave before, from above. It usually is more thinner the lower down you come, and the face becomes smaller also. The head on top it becomes bigger when you look from above. And then you create the classic Y, so you can see that the eyes form like a Y with the nose, because when you're looking from down to up, it's kind of what it looks like. You kind of look more angry like this sometimes. And the nose is more pointier when you're looking from above. And still you will have this thinner facial features going downwards. And uh, on top of the head, it's more bigger than usual. So you should have the fantasy and visualization of um, a face going in like... Um, uh, perspective and uh, the ears should be higher up than normal because if you look from the front the ears is almost the same height as the eyes but when you look from down to up and you're looking from above then the ears become a bit higher than usually and then it will get the effect that he's uh, looking up or you're viewing from above I will ink this too but first I will, I will make the view from down. You will see, like we did with Dave, we'll make a cylinder and we'll make it reverse. Now we will have uh, the thinner part up on, on top of the head and uh, the thicker and bigger parts under the chin, kind of, if you think like a can. Then the bottom of the can is like under the chin. So we start with the chin and the mouth and I'll make the nostrils because they're very clear and bigger when you're looking from under. And the eyes will follow the bowl of the can. So you will have it. And just follow the can and create his forehead and the can uh, for the head. Now you can see it's here that it's, that it's from under him. He's either looking up or you're viewing him from under. This is a way, a good way to, to draw somebody who's looking up. And, and the ears, of course, is under the eyes this time because it follows the bowl of the can of the cylinder. So when somebody's looking up, the ears is fairly more down from the face. Here, if you compare the both of them, you can see they're opposites of each other. You work your way opposite from there, from one of the other. I'll, I'll ink both of them here fast, so you see the results, what you can do. 
this is what you can practice at home making this. After you've done the cylinder, and after you've done uh, the features of the eyes, the nose, and um, the positions of the ear, then try to make some details on it. I'm using a, a fairly thick pen to ink, so, so I'll finish faster. And uh, this is what you can do at home too. You can practice this, what I'm doing now. You can do it fast. Why not, Don't, or not be in a hurry? I like to work fast. But if you do what I'm doing now, fast, a little bit every day, then will you, you will start to understand. And, and as you can see, I'm putting some shadows on this uh, dude. I call him Gambit, but this kind of looks like Gambit from the X-Men. So I'll, um, I'll put a little bit of shadows so we can clear the sea. And um, yeah, you, you can make as much of um, details as you want on the character later. Just want to show you what, uh, how I start and, and uh, this is now the process of making all the details and this is how you, you, you create the rest of the drawing. And you can clearly see that he's uh, looking up or you're looking down on him, this guy, this Gambit guy. He looks very serious, and I put a lot of uh, shadows under the chin. The chin usually should have a lot of shadows. It, it looks more effective and it brings out the head and the face more. one with a view from under. I'll start with the nostrils and the chin. I like to finish the eyes fast too so I have that because one of the most important part of the face when you draw it. Now I kind of know by memory all the details in the face. This takes time to learn because you can see that I'm working very fast. I didn't speed this one up like so. I usually draw live a couple of times a week. Somebody pointed out that the guy should go live drawing. I always say something like that or like so. Which I just did like so. When I accidentally say it, I I remember this guy saying this. So you can see, it's a face. I believe it's still Gambit. Gambit usually has longer hair, so maybe it's not. He's just a regular dude. And of course, I make some shadows under him. There you go, some views, that's the finished touch. I hope you learned something and uh, this is a different video I've done this week, not like uh, the other weeks. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this 
tell me what you feel about it and if you enjoyed it if not i'll go back to drawing my usual stuff you want to learn more some tricks just tell me that too and please come back next week and have a good one until next time